So I will, uh, I'll definitely take a look. Thanks, Alexander. I'll take a look at that handbook update. Uh, I did a quick skim earlier and it look, looks great. I want to look it over in detail. So yeah. I think uh, Michal is on, is out of office today. Uh, so yep. he's probably not joining us. It'd be two of us, which is just fine, unless others join. So what's the latest in your laptop saga? I bought a new one. So I'm trying to deal with customs. So the, um, you're dealing with customs uh, to get the, the other one that was shipped out uh, in your hands? Yeah, okay. That's what we discussed before, yeah. So on the one you bought, are you able to start configuring it now? Uh, yeah, I finished some tasks, but not uh, all of them. So uh, the, the thing that I have to do is to provide the public uh, key to unblock other issues. So I will do that uh, just after this uh, um, meeting. Okay, great. That's great. You, sorry about all the, the challenges you had with, with laptops. So the, uh, yeah. An FYI, the, the monthly unreview integration check-in, uh, our first one with Eleron and Christopher, hey Taylor, and others is uh, next week. So I gave Christopher, who's, who's my manager, a quick update. Earlier this week, he likes the overall progress and our plan. He did recommend we push out the due date for milestone one. It was gonna be two weeks after you completed Alexander um, onboarding, but you didn't have a laptop until basically yesterday uh, that you could fully use. So we're gonna probably push out the, the, um, the time, the uh, due date by a week uh, accordingly. So uh, it also, it looks like in terms of number three, it looks like we don't need to depend on the infrastructure team for the proof of concept infrastructure since it's separated from product uh, We will need infrastructure to build, you know, build with us, uh, you know, the, what we need for actual integration starting with milestone two, but the POC we don't. So does that seem like a good plan, Alex, for us to do that ourselves? Yeah, I said, yeah, I said that already that, yeah, for the first milestone, maybe we don't need the infrastructure team and we can self-serve uh, self almost everything. Great. So I think how we can break the tasks. So. Yeah, I think breaking it into subtasks would yeah. be great. You know, um, you know, we still have a small team, of course, you know, with, with Michal on our team now, 50%. But it'd be great to break it up so that Mihao knows what he's doing, you know what you're doing, and you're not stepping on each other, et cetera. And others will know as well. Yeah, because I think that the key point right now is to configure Kubernetes, and then we can configure Kafka using Docker. So I think it will be enough for the POC proposes, for the POC goals. So I think it will be enough. Great. Yeah, because uh, as I, yeah, but it's a bit later. So number four, um, an FYI, David got David Sandro got approval for additional hires for the applied ML team, along with other teams as well. It looks like we'll be hiring approximately three more people in dev, split between Q3 and Q4. So one manager and two additional backend engineers. So uh, I know I mentioned this to you, Alexander, uh, previously, but uh, I put it in here for, so others can know too. I believe there's also a, a half dedicated PM. Uh, planned half for this team and half for uh, abuse. So I think I, I don't know if you're if you're if you're interested in that, Taylor. You're thinking about that, but if you are, that'd be awesome. And if you're not, that's awesome too. But we'd love to have you continue on this team if you're if if uh, if that's how it works out. That would be great. And if it doesn't, because you have other things you'd rather do, that's fine too. Of course. Yeah, uh, Alex, you have number five. Yeah. So. We are updating the unreview handbook page. Please welcome <laughs> with your suggestions, proposes, like with everything. Yeah, and I saw your latest MR, Alexander, and I'll, that you just put Taylor and I as the reviewers on. I'll definitely take a look. I do have a, a couple questions, but I'll get to those later today or um, tomorrow, friend and family day, early Monday. Yeah, okay, cool. Because I would like to add one more uh, subsection. I, th I think we can review the full page after that. As we discussed before. I think you have number six as well, Alex. Yeah. So I would like to submit a merge request. So draft merge request with data flow experiments. And uh, so where are we going to store and review repositories? So then can I create the namespace for that? Yeah. And it's definitely important to do that, right? Because we're we're make we're keeping this uh, part of our uh, enterprise product, so you know it's not going in the open source version. Um, I'm not sure the right place to put that. Uh, do you happen to know, Taylor? 
I don't think it matters particularly where it goes, but we just need to make sure that it gets licensed with the EE license. The, the I would look for a recommendation. I, I think Mihai would know, but he's he's out of office today. Maybe ask um, one of the engineering managers that you you've done a coffee chat with Alexander on the best place to do it. just before you upload it and start working there. It's probably good to put it uh, just get a second opinion on it. Um, and then who's in your time zone or, or your time zones? That'd be just good. So you can start on this. Who in, who in the secure section, Taylor, would be a good just for Alexander to bounce this off of? Probably Thomas. Thomas, okay. So Thomas is in the same time zone as me. So Alexander, recommend reading out to Thomas Woodham just to ask for the opinion. I think that's a great suggestion. And uh, last night, Mihao's out, but he he's out uh, today. But he's he's on our team fifty percent starting basically today. So um, we'll see what tasks he can start picking up starting next week. Did, did we fully answer uh, address number six, Alex? Yeah, I forgot to say that first. I focus on pre-processing merge requests, and I read all the necessary information for the local files. And once we configure the Kafka on Kubernetes so we can read the data directly from Kafka. But one, because right now we read local files, files we, can, uh, we can apply CI CD so we can cover the pipelines with tests, almost everything. So that's why I need to, to submit uh, a merge request. Because the thing that we discussed before, I finished them almost. Great. Yeah, yeah, I think it's better to do like that to make some small iterations as we discuss. Small iterations. Yeah. That's what we're about. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, that's everything we have on the agenda. Anything else that either of you wanted to discuss? Me? Yeah. Right. Or anyone. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great uh, three day weekend. Cheers.